Good morning. I just wanted to go over the DLVO theory again because I think I was going too fast uh, on this. First, two things we have to remember that on colloidal particle, two forces are in acting. One of them is attractive forces, it's called Van der Waals attraction and electrostatic repulsion because of the double layer. So always you have to think about you have a particle, two, two particles, you have two particles and there is attractive forces and also we have repulsive forces. So DLVO theory summarize what happens when these two counteracting forces are involved. In fact, it is a very complex concept. I try to explain in two slides. So because we don't have much time, otherwise I, I would have to take 15 minutes to explain all those stuffs. For simplicity, you have to remember Assume that this is a curve where we are measuring the energy, potential energy. It's not positive or negative. For example, you are measuring energy. So, and the here is, and this energy, it is, we are, this is repulsion and this is attraction. So only in case of when as two energy are involved, two energies are involved, what happens? You have repulsion and always you have to remember this is distance. One particle here, another particle here. So how this energy changes with the distance? Again, repulsion and attraction. So repulsive forces when it has the repulsive forces when you have high repulsive forces there will be particle will be well dispersed repulsion here this is the rep curve for repulsion but attractive forces in case of attraction when in case of attraction the curve go like that so when a repulsive forces is high, the particles stay oil dispersed. When attractive forces high, there will be coagulation here. There will be coagulation here. And you see this attraction, and then this is called primary minima attraction when there will be coagulation. And here repulsion, there will be no coagulation, oil dispersed. Again, when if you combine this with that, you will have this curve car for attraction and repulsion and you will come up with a composite curve this one and this curve has several section one is called you see this one is called primary minima where you will have coagulation and then it goes up and then secondary minima. Here you will have coagulation, here you will have flocculation and this area is the most stable one. This is what DLVO theory is trying to explain but it's not that straightforward for the sake of this class and the time we do not have to be an expert in DLVO theory. You just have to remember there are three, two forces are involved attraction and repulsion and the curve is like this you should be able to identify this curve this is the curve for both forces it has primary minima this primary minima and secondary minima where flocculation here there will be coagulation and this is the force for repulsion and this is the for attraction though so you should be able to identify these two curves now, col colloidal theory and 
color stability and dl view theory when the particles collide with a strong energy to overcome the attractive forces dominate particles adhere strongly irreversibly so as uh, these are just rehash of what this theory is telling about when the particles collide with a strong energy to overcome the barrier attractive forces dominate and make particles adhere strongly irreversibly in case of high force of repulsion dispersion resist flocculation and stabilize them in the absence of repulsion mechanism as I have mentioned, this flocculation is going to occur. Flocculation and coagulation here. If you go back again, the DLVO theory, this is minima, and then here is a minima. So this is coagulation, and this is flocculation. In certain cases, for example, high salt concentration, in case secondary minima is of the high and much weaker and potentially reversible adhesion occur. That means this one. Here, reversible addition that means flocculation occur. When the flocks are stable, do not break due to Brownian motion, they rather dissociate uh, upon shaking. So, flocculation is not bad. Coagulation is bad for a suspension. So, these are the summary of DLVO theory. Now, how we can stabilize coagulation? The two approaches we can use one is called static repulsion coat particles with protective solvent sheet that prevents mutual adherence when the particle come to close contact. One option is, you see, steric repulsion. This is called steric stabilization. You coat particle with some polymer. So they will not come in contact to each other. This is called sterility. Polymer prevents mutual adherence. That means prevents mutual adherence. Adherence means is a fancy term. Mutual attraction when particle come to close contact. Electrostatic or charge stabilization. Or another option is just give electrical charge on it. So as you can imagine, all the particle, for example, you positively charge, you give some negative charge on the surface. Yes. So in this way they will stay separated. There has to be some repulsive forces so the particle doesn't come in contact with each other. Coming in contact with each other is dangerous for the particles. They will coagulate. So this is called stabilization of particle and then finally it's called sensitization of particle. A small amount of hydrophilic hydrophilic or hydrophobic colloid of opposite charge and sensitize and coagulate the particles in this case because it is going to reduce jetta potential also going to reduce repulsive forces the thickness of and the thickness of the ionic charge so we never want to do formulation which has opposite we don't want to mix them together so it will destabilize and the protective colloids a large amount of colloids enhance the stability because adsorption of hydrophilic colloids on the hydrophobic colloids a phenomena called protection and provide a protective colors here just this thing just try to remember you have a hydrophobic colloid particle is hydrophobic and then if you want to stabilize you can coat this particle as in say as it is said that adsorption of hydrophilic colors on the hydrophobic adsorption so you you pour some hydrophilic colloid here as it says that adsorption of hydrophilic colors on the hydrophobic colors and then it will stabilize so again here you have Hydro, hydrophobic colloids and then you put a large amount of hydrophilic colloid. This will provide some protection. So first general OA, general approach, steric repulsion, you 
coat the particles with the protective solvent sheet or, or protective polymers or you can make the particle charge either positive or negatively charge and there are two phenomena it's called sensitization which you do not want particles of opposite charge we should not mix and then protective colors what are protective colors large amount of colors enhance stability because adjustion of hydrophilic colors on the hydrophobic colors a phenomena called protection and the hydrophilic colloid is called protective colloid just remember this hydrophobic colloid is called protective colloid I'm marking this those who are smart they will read it okay I hope uh, we are done with that Has, what are the flocculation coagulation you know that coagulation coagulation is bad flocculation is okay and then according to DLVO theory what are the two forces acting on particles attractive forces which is van der Waals forces and repulsive forces from double layer name two approaches for stabilization of collagen particle one is protective one is you coat the particle with a polymer or make the particle positive or negatively charged explain the diagram of dlvo theory here is the diagram this is a particle and this is distance this is repulsion this is for curve attraction and this is the composite curve here you will have coagulation here you will have flocculation what are the difference between sedimentation and creaming i have explained to you sedimentation when particles goes you have a liquid here particles goes here is sedimentation instead of creaming particle will will float on the surface is like milk and you see in milk depending on the what you know what treatment how you are treating the milk some particle lipid particle go on the top or the bottom when it goes from the top it's cream and when it's go it's go go particle goes to the bottom it's called setting i hope this takes care of this part and then i'll soon post rheology lectures Thank you.